Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's November the 1st, Fukushima Day 601. So I'm sure a lot of you are aware, there's a lot of people in North America that ever since Fukushima went down, they weren't very concerned about radiation, you know, my family included. Well, I must admit, ever since uh, Hurricane Sandy blew by, it sure has woken up a whole lot of people. Uh, I'm going to give an update here on the uh, hurricane aftermath, as well as the uh, nuclear situation, as well as a diesel leak uh, spill that's uh, been reported here. Now, before I start off with that, I'm going to start off with a story here regarding nuclear plants and the California new plant, the San Onofre. Okay, so many are aware uh, it was closed down, it was under repair. Now they're talking about the uh, cost of the new plant has topped 300 million. I'll, lead a, I'll read a little bit of the story because it, it kind of ties in with the rest of it here that I'm going to present. So here it starts off with the long-running uh, blackout here at the Trouble Sun and Offering nuclear plant in California has cost at least 317 million and it's not clear if the plant's trouble steam generators can ever be repaired and operated at full power, the plant's operator said. Did you guys get that? 317 million dollars and he's not even sure if they're going to be able to operate them again? What a joke. Anyhow, I'll go on with this because it all ties in with the rest of it here. This is from uh, UPI News here and it says here that the United States is headed toward a, towards a major nuclear disaster unless the government closely monitors aging power plants, the safety advocates and activ activists say. So here it says, uh, this is like the Titanic, okay, headed toward an iceberg, said Paul Gunter, the co-founder of Clamshell Alliance Anti-Nuclear Group and a longtime activist. Gunter concerns centers on the 23 Mark I nuclear reactors in the United States, and I'll show you on the map, which are identical to the containment vessels used at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, where three reactors failed and went into a meltdown. So if you're not aware of the situation, you're new to nuclear situation here, they still haven't got control of Fukushima. Uh, there's three nuclear plants. They don't even know where some of the radiation is. I mean, it's underneath the plant here, big blob of it. Anyways, so those of you that do pay attention to radiation, you're sure, I'm sure you've probably stopped by this map here. It's called a radiation network map. You're used to seeing this map. However, it's always, you know, littered with all these yellow dots. It's kind of hard to see exactly how many nuclear plants are in your area, right? Well, lo and behold, lucky for us today, at a certain point, uh, the map kind of went dark. There were there was nothing. The only uh, radiation that was showing up here is on a mobile one in Arizona. The rest of it went dark, which is kind of neat in a way because it gives us the opportunity here to take a look at a little closer just how many are in that uh, are on the map. I'm not sure whereabouts you live. There's a stamp there, so you can see the date. It was today. So I'm not sure where you live, but you have an idea. There's the one in uh, Arizona that was still going, showing 15 counts per minute. Now this was taped earlier today, so I'm, I'm playing it back here for us. Um, on top here, I was mentioning how you can look at Japan, uh, UK, Europe, South uh, South Africa, all, all different places. Wherever you live, the radiation network shows you different uh, readings, uh, different folks. So just take a look at the, um, look how many new plants are right there. This is New York right here, where it says New York, the state of New York, right? Unbelievable how many plants are there. So out of that whole bunch, there's 23 of those that are the same as the Mark I, this, the same one that went off at uh, Fukushima. Okay, I want to proceed on here with other stuff. Yeah, that's my desktop. Constant reminder. Okay, so moving along, this is the fresh stuff here after uh, what's taking place with uh, Hurricane Sandy. The Salem nuclear plant uh, has developed a repair plan. The repair plan, well, they're not quite sure. This is what the Wall Street uh, Journal has reported here, folks. It says here the company is de developing a repair plan and <laughs> will make repairs as needed to return, return the plant to safe operation, a spokesman said on Wednesday, offering no timeline for bringing the plant back to power. Okay. And the, now the Wall Street had mentioned the damaged water pumps at the water intakes in vague terms. But Platts previously quoted that the, the plant operator as having five of the six intake water pumps damaged. And the NRC previously admitted that the intakes were clogged with debris from the hurricane. Salem has a long history 
of uh, having power outages and problems. Okay, so a little bit more on that whole thing. So it says here, the Platts provided detailed information about uh, what happened at Salem 1. Waves on the river were high enough to hit the water recirculation building and five of the six water pumps inside were damaged and all six were considered inoperable at one point. Okay, going along, move along here, I got a little bit more stuff. The aftermath of Sandy. So I was talking about an oil spill here. This is reported by CNN. Russell Tibbetts of the Coast Guard told CNN on Wednesday the incident occurred when one tank ruptured. Now remember, he's saying one tank here because I have conflict conflicting reports on that one. So most of the diesel was contained by a backup containment unit. And I'm going to talk on that too. What backup? What's their idea of backup? And earlier on Wednesday, Shell, which owns part of Motiva, said at least two diesel storage tanks were damaged. It said the amount of the spill was unknown, but they do know, because I found right from the very get-go they said 336,000 gallons. Okay, so moving along here, um, next story here is all regarding the same thing here. The Associated Press reported that the spill happened on Monday night after a tank ruptured. They're saying one tank here at a storage facility owned by Motiva. Okay, uh, on Wednesday night in a mostly darkened neighborhood illuminated only by lights of a nearby refinery, a vacuum truck sucked up diesel and water mixture next to a local park along the Arthur Kill Strait. Containment booms made of orange and yellow rings fanned out to contain the spill. Okay, moving along here. This is what NOAA said on October 31st. Okay, uh, NOAA's uh, Emergency Response Division was on the uh, scene responding to the Coast Guard's request for scientific support for three separate oil spills in the Arthur Kill as well as orphan containers and many potential hazmat targets. The spill involved about 8,300 barrels of diesel, biodiesel and slop oil. So we're getting kind of different stories here, but at the top they're saying that altogether was 349,000 gallons spilled from the Saudi ruptured Saudi uh, Shell Saudi oil tank. Now I did a little bit of digging here to find out where this uh, <clears throat> Motiva plant was here, and that's Staten Island here on this side, and this is New Jersey, and in the middle is the the, the Strait Arthur Kill Strait, and these uh, white uh, uh, circles here, those are the, the containment vessels they're talking about. Let's go in a little closer here. You can see that little red boat. That's not little once you get up close. So here we are up close. Now, to give you an idea, these are pickup trucks that are parked here. So if you compare us it to, this is like the smallest container on site. And these are the largest ones. Uh, sorry, this would be the smallest container. And this is the medium size but there's an awful lot of these big ones here and to give you an idea how close they are to the strait there's the water right there so I'm not sure exactly um, what tank it is I do know that the water is very close and although this is an older picture you can see these orange buoys are already out there from um, whatever 2009 or oh, what does it say here 2012 here Google 2012 so um, and you can see, I don't know if they've had problems in the past, but the buoys are already out. And there's that red boat I was showing you. Uh, now, see where these parks are? Well, there's a park right here. And there's a park over here. But there's storage facility on Staten Island. And they're also over where the red boat was, where I was just showing you. And there's some in the background. Um, there's some up a little further up the street right there you know uh, this this whole area is just loaded with these uh, storage facility tanks okay so that's it I'm backing up here the video I'm gonna mention one more thing if you're a new subscriber don't sit there waiting for Google or whoever your your email service is or if you're subscribed to YouTube waiting for my updates folks I'm sorry but I'm censored it's been mentioned to me many times in the past that people don't get my updates. So my advice to you is to come directly to Connecting Dots 2 on my YouTube channel and you'll make sure you'll see my updates there. Take care folks.